Yo, what's going on YouTube? Leader of the Phantom Thieves here, it's Arrow. We're going to do a quick reaction to the Dying Light 2 uh, gameplay trailer. I didn't get to watch it yet, so everything that I see is first time. But without further ado, let's get straight into the video, guys. At least they avoid spoilers. Hey, everyone. We've been quiet for some time. Since, like the rest of the world, we had some unforeseen hurdles to clear. Hey, this is a good looking video, man. But the wait is over. I'm gonna stop Let's right there real the quick. That right there, like when you do the when you do the tuck roll, that's gonna mess with me. I, I can tell that's gonna mess with me a couple of times. Open world of dying light two. Oh, that was pretty sick. I like that. That was sick. The last slice of Dying Light 2 yeah, showcased the mission this. from the main storyline. Two line. years ago. You get after those fuck. You saw how your decisions influenced the narrative and notably changed good. the environment. This is gonna be a good game. This time, we want to give you a broader look at the game look and a sneak peek at some man. of the things we'll be talking about in upcoming months. Alright, let's, let's hear the story. In Dying Light 2, you become Aiden Caldwell, an outsider trying to unravel a tangled mystery from his past. Its trail leads him to the city. Probably the last... I just want to say something real quick, right? I just want to say something. Graphics don't mean everything, but damn if they don't make a game that much more immersive. It, it, it just makes things that much better. Like... The world, I'm already looking at the world and it just looks so good, you know. But we're about gameplay, so let's see what they got. Bastion of mankind in the world. Oh, shit. Like, look at the variety of zombies. At first, you feel like Ooh. this intense, brutal place will tear you apart. But then you meet yeah, this, the this Night Riders, good. veteran survivors who help people in better days. Oh! By the way, I'm Hagar. You were a Night Runner. You used to help people, remember? The night Runners are gone. Finished. Um, uh, oh! And although it's not entirely clear you can trust them, you need allies in the dark. Oh. Oh. oh! Hold on. We're going back on that. Entirely clear. We're going back on them. that. Did you see that? You need allies in the dark. Oh, sir. Oh. Okay, I don't know if you guys remember or not, but that um that zombie, the way his mouth opened at the bottom, if you're a Blade fan. Those look like the Reapers from Blade 2. That's what that reminds me of. All right, let, let's keep and going. And these are the modern Dark Ages. It's been 15 years since the apocalypse, and the world has changed. The old civilization has fallen, but a new one has been built on its ashes. Okay. People fight desperately for scarce oh. resources. So, okay, not only do you have to worry about zombies, but you have to worry about punished. just regular people. She's innocent. Three oh, factions struggle for well, position in the city. Survivors pride themselves on being able to adapt Hold on, to I missed any... that because I was talking, my bad. She's what did say about factions? Three factions struggle for position in the city. Okay. Survivors pride themselves on being able to adapt to any circumstances and cobble together safe zones almost everywhere. See, that's another thing that I like about stuff like this, where it looks like the... I, there's certain games where they just place people in certain places and make them go through the motion. Like, say somebody's a, a blacksmith. They just do this the same time, working on the same weapon every day. This actually looks like the communities are are actually being... They look real. They look real. Like, you know, you had the dude with, with his uh, hand saw at the top. You have people doing agriculture. It looks like an actual thriving community. Well, not thriving, but they're trying to do better given what they got. It just looks and feels organic. Peacekeepers, loyal soldiers who want to impose their version of law and order and trample all in their path. Renegades, ex-prisoners serving their ruthless colonel, seeking to become sole rulers of the city. Where is Waltz? 
Make him talk. Use these factions to reach your goal. Help or harm them to reshape the city to your liking. That's it. That's it. Just remember, each faction oh. contains complex characters. Okay, so from what it looks like, hold on, let's uh, from what it looks like, you don't have to stay with one faction. You can actually use every faction for your own advantage. I like that. I wonder if it's gonna, you know, if you're gonna have multiple endings depending on how each faction did, like how they did in uh, Far Cry New Vegas. I wonder if it's gonna be like that, because New Vegas How's did it pretty good. Parker, ain't you? Got some kind of bad habit of yours. So, will you follow cold calculation or your heart? The bazaar needs good people. Help us, and you'll find a home here. Some in the city offer no chance for Ooh. an alliance. Bandits, outlaws, and common thugs live only to plunder and kill, plunging the streets into chaos. Oh. Yet, Nightfall scares all of them equally. This is what I want to see how the night Good night, here we go, and good luck. Darkness changes the rules of the world. As the light fails, the monsters crawl out of hiding to prey on the Dang. poor souls caught Dude, outside the safety like of this. UV rays. Hordes of infected pour into the streets. I just, like I love how, out. I love how there's so many, and I know I keep pausing it, but I'd rather you guys be able to hear it, but I just love how there's such a variety of zombies. Like there's not, you know, five, six different types of reskins. Like there actually looks like there's a variety. The deadly spawn of 15 oh, years of mutation what? and evolution. Look at these! Yes, and then you got the Oh! Your only escape? Exploit the city's verticality and flee to the roofs. Oh, happy feet running. Oh. Though even there, you are never safe from swift and deadly virals. That's sick. Oh, I like that. Or even greater threat. Oh. Yet night brings opportunity as well. Nests rife with infected during the day now lie empty. I'll be so I'm gonna be them, scared to play this game. I'm not even gonna carefully. lie. But those brave enough to face the terrors of the night can loot a jackpot. Look at this, man. This is this is such a uh, big upgrade from the original. The original was good. You can tell they you can tell they put a lot of time and effort into this game. Uh, Luckily, I hope you have all the tools you need to survive. Oh Your extraordinary gosh. parkour skills allow you to navigate even the most treacherous terrain. Yeah. Oh, oh stop it. Look old. This is so cool, man. Look at him, man. Inspirational type you can parkour. Count on your parkour oh, acrobatics you're dead. Save your oh, life. Ho, ho. But often, you'll have to face your enemies. Yes, sir! Head, and then you have to be smart. This game is gonna be so good. Resourceful. And determined. <laughs> We've worked hard on the essence of our combat, making sure swinging a big, moody weapon is fun, satisfying, and well executed. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That's one thing I'm glad to hear is that. There is actual weight to the weapons. Far too many games have a flaw where you're just swinging a weapon and it feels like there's no weight to it. They said, that, and I can even tell by the trailer that it looks like when you're swinging and you're swinging hard and slow, there's a certain weight to the weapon. I like that. It actually feels like you're doing a swing. It's just not, you know, swing, swing, swing. You know, you're swinging, you know, 10 mile an hour weapons with a, you know, 50 a, you know, 50 pound sword. <laughs> but even the most brutal fights can be tactical as well. You have multiple ways to hone your skills toward oh! the style that suits you best. It's up to Curse you if you focus mostly on mobility Wait, and those... parkour. Wait, 
multiple ways to hone your skills toward the gameplay style that suits you best. It's up to you if you focus Ooh, mostly yes, on sir, brass and knuckle. hardcore, or aggressive, blunt force combat, or a crafty approach right to the tools nose. you created to get the job done. Every ability you learn can be a game changer and possibly a new favorite. Oh, game. this game looks insane. All right, your choice is your world. Let's see what they're talking about. Things move fast and quick in Dying Light 2. Each moment matters. Each move could mean triumph or defeat. What? Choose your actions and friends carefully. Everything you do in the city can reshape the gameplay environment, change the course of the narrative, and decide the fate of the city's residents. Yes! They answer but my question. most importantly, you decide your own fate as well. You're about to turn. Make sure to stay human. <laughs> When's it releasing? This year, December 7th. So, okay, hold on. Let, let's just finish this. December 7th. That, that makes me happy. Okay. So, Dying Light 2, Stay Human, okay? It looks like you can become a zombie. Now, I don't know if that will give you a game over or anything like that. They they didn't really talk about that, but it'd be cool if, you know, that that becomes a gameplay element of if you turn, obviously, you know, there has to be a way to turn back, but it just makes the gameplay that much harder. Or if you are turned, are the other zombies still going to attack you? Like, there's so many different elements that they could go with. This looks good. This looks good. You know, this makes me wonder, for all the years that they've been working on it, I wonder if Dead Island 2 is going to actually come out ever. And if so, they had so much time, this is the kind of product they should give. Dying Light 2 Stay Human looks amazing, guys. That's amazing. I, I, This is how you do a trailer. This is how you do a trailer, and I like it. That's it. So, December 7th, guys, Dying Light 2 is going to come out. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, I'll probably do another one sometime this evening after work. As always, guys, uh, make sure to hit them comments. Follow the channel if you haven't. And uh, that's it for right now, guys. I'm out.